Hey, welcome to the assessment section. Uh, just a quick review on what uh, we have in this section. Primarily, uh, these are assessments that you can take um, as self-assessments. So we're going to introduce you to some of these in, um, in several particular areas related to your fitness and performance um, and health as well. Um, and also we're recommending maybe some testing outside in, or in a lab scenario. Um, and so we'll have some recommendations there as well. So testing obviously is to identify potential limiters. Uh, if you don't know where you're at, you have a hard time really planning out a course. Like Lord Kelvin once said, that, that which is measured improves. So assessment is critical not only to kind of give you some idea of where we need to go or where you need to go, but also it's going to help us to set up some parameters and so we can connect with the training plan and make sure we're all on the same page as far as what you're doing. So the first section we're looking at readiness um, and some type of self self health risk assessment. So it's important to be healthy. That's the foundation. If you're battling health, you're not um, going to be performing in your training. So you need to be um, uh, focused in on what you need to do to be at optimal health. One of the things we do right out of the gate here is have you um, go through and take the PARQ uh, physical activity readiness questionnaire. And this is basically going through and checking off things to make sure there's no contraindications to doing exercise. So it's an important thing to kind of review for yourself just to make sure if there is something that we need to target um, for discussion with your physician, um, you can review that with the PARQ+. So there's a little tool here. You'll go through it and uh, be able to have some idea of what the recommendations are. And then to review your risk here, we have another tool, a pop lab tool. Um, it's more of an educational. You can go through here and identify what is cardiovascular disease, how do we prevent it, what are some of those benchmark uh, risk factors, blood pressure, cholesterol, blood you know, profiles, metabolic syndrome. All these topics are discussed here, so you can click through and just review some of the information, make sure you're up to speed on um, how and what you want to be looking at to reduce your risk for potential problems in the future. And then <clears throat> along with um, basic biometrics, blood pressures, heart rates, um, lung function testing, we would recommend some blood work. Um, so there are options here. We have a discount if you wanted to go through the inside tracker and you can fairly easily set up your own blood profile screening. So there's some options here with the benefits of each. Obviously there, um, this would be, um, the essentials profile is probably the most economical and it's primarily geared towards your heart health risk factors. And then we can get into some more detail on some of these other profiles. But you do get a 25% discount if you use this discount code. So blood work, and then we have some explanation in here on <clears throat> what it is that you want to be looking at, maybe even tracking some of these areas related to training. So they're all kind of delineated in this informational. All right, so that's blood profile, readiness, health risk assessment. Next category we're looking at is your cardiorespiratory fitness, your, or more specifically your endurance. So we want to um, be able to evaluate where you're at and where you need to go. So we have several options here. The first option, probably the best if you have access to a lab where they do cardiometabolic type testing. That's the VO2 where they have the mask, uh, VO2, CO2 type assessments. So you can click through here and um, get an idea on what some of these tests look like. And maybe if you're in our area here, you can actually sign up for a cardiometabolic profile. So that's the ideal. The reason it's an ideal will be explained further down in, um, in this assessment section and in 
some of the key components section, but you want to be able to set up your own training profiles, your own individual profiles on heart rate and pace and potentially power output. So the testing will identify specific domains uh, based on how you're breathing, um, how you're using your fuel, and um, how maybe fatigue is accelerating through different physiological parameters. So lab testing is by far the best way to go if you have access to it to set up your training domains and to see where your limiters are. Another option if you don't have access, you can do this on your own, is a self-test called the talk test. So um, this will walk you through it, this particular pop lab tool, but you'll need to have you know uh, some type of a stationary bike with some grading on intensity or power levels that you can adjust or a treadmill based off of whether you're a cyclist or weight-bearing type exercise runners, walkers. So you can do this test on your own um, and it'll walk you through the protocol and then we can identify where these specific ventilatory thresholds are. And we can give a little bit more individual approach to setting up your training parameters. And then the third option is field testing. Um, you may be familiar with FTP testing, usually on the bike, but you can do this on the run or um, some other areas as well. But basically you're gonna do a field test, um, sometimes a 20 to 30 minute all out effort or some multiple eight minute efforts to estimate where that functional threshold power is. And the functional threshold power area, we were also looking at what the heart rate is there, and we can set up your training zones based off of those outcomes. So this is a little tougher, especially if you're not um, kind of on a high end of your fitness already, to try and push through some of these effort levels could be risky as far as injury goes. Um, also, if you're really, really elite, you know, the FTP tests, um, you're gonna, maybe do more than what we would have used it for to estimate where your true thresholds are because you can push a little bit harder at that high degree of fatigue. And if you're very unfit and you're testing using some of these field tests, you may have to stop early and it's not really representative of what you potentially could be doing and, and where the heart rates would go. So again, uh, there's positives and negatives. All you know, two of these, the, the option number three, field testing and the lab testing, you know, can be used um, intermittently between each other. So in other words, every, if you're gonna, we usually recommend testing every six to eight weeks if you're looking for some kind of training effect. So one month you may do a lab test to update and then the next month you're gonna do a field test and back and forth. Again, uh, these are really to identify where your endurance is, where the potential limiters are for the event or the situation that you're training for. Next section is strength, stability, and mobility. Here we're looking at how well you move and your range of motion as well as some stability, strength. <clears throat> so you can go through here. We have a little assessment tool to see if we can identify some potential limiters here as well. So um, another fun tool, you can, there's videos within this that will explain some of these self-assessments. And then finally, the body composition. If you don't already have a body fat measurement done, um, you don't know what your body fat percentage is or your lean mass, then we do have a self-assessment tool here you can go through and get those numbers until you're able to get in and get a uh, more direct measurement. Again, we're explaining body fat. Uh, we're looking at uh, different reasons that we're, you know, we're, we would prefer body composition above just monitoring body weight. So you can get a little educated here by going through this um, body composition tool. All right, so that's the information. This is to kind of set the baseline as well as to set up your training parameters and then have something to compare with to make sure you're on the right road to achieving your goals or your um, ideal performance.